Hi, I'm Derek. I'm making this video to demonstrate how I've used oxygen to abort cluster headache attacks. I got my first cluster headache when I was 13 years old and I wasn't diagnosed until I was 19. Uh, at the time, the doctor uh, promoted the benefits of using oxygen therapy and recommended that I try it, but it was too much for me to kind of overcome from a stigma perspective when I was a young man. Um, I was in the Marines and I was just, um, I guess, a little overwhelmed by kind of the tank and all the gear and all the stuff, and it just seemed too much for me. So I went the, the lonely route of um, medications, uh, which aren't as effective at aborting as oxygen is. Uh, it's the number one abortive for cluster headaches. So many years later, um, I, was, I found a website called clusterbusters.org, which is a nonprofit dedicated to finding relief for those who suffer from cluster headache. And on that site, um, they espouse the benefits of oxygen, and they also talk a lot about how to do it, and that there's a technique involved, and that it is different from um, traditional oxygen therapies for other things like COPD. Um, for instance, you need a high flow rate, which is traditionally at least 12 liters a minute. I'm a big guy, I'm 6'5", so um, I tend to use 15, 20, or even 25 liters a minute, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but yeah, I just I wanted to make this video so that hopefully if you're on the journey to using oxygen or you're thinking about it, that you um, can feel a lot better because there's nothing to be afraid of. And uh, the experience that I had once I had the capability to overcome those attacks and now I can usually avoid them altogether or usually within two or three minutes I can uh, I can curb the attack. And so that for me was a life changer um, for my work, school, family, friends, everything. Um, and so I'm hoping I can, I can bring you along faster as well. So let's get started. So let's talk about the stuff. Uh, you're going to get several things uh, with your oxygen tank. Um, the little dark colored guy there with the uh, silver on it is your regulator. Uh, that's the thing that um, obviously regulates the flow of oxygen. And then that's going to go down that clear tube. Uh, mine is six feet long into um, a bag. This one's three liters. Um, and then your mask. And so... Um, both of these are check valves. Uh, this one only will allow air to go this way um, out, and uh, this one's only or this one's only going to let it go into the mask, and this one will only let it go out. Um, and that way, you only are breathing in oxygen. Uh, you'll also note that this mask has no holes of any kind. So um, again, um, you don't want any. Uh, any any breakage of the seal in the system. The, the concept here and the idea is you're trying to get 100% of that oxygen that's flowing at a high rate, 12 liters a minute or more, into your body. Um, and so it's important um, you'll you'll get this uh, this equipment from your provider. Um, but this is what what a basic kit is kind of made up of. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna you'll see me again when we hook this thing up and we'll talk about technique. So here we are, guys, the big moment. Um, time to actually do some, some breathing. So one thing that's helped me a lot is to think about this as I'm trying to purge all of the CO2 out of my body. And instead of taking oxygen in, which is really what I'm doing in order to purge, uh, I'm really trying to get rid of that CO2. Um, and that's helpful because in your breathing technique or the breathing technique that I use, it's really about, it's focused on expelling that la every bit of air from your body and then taking a good, full, clean breath of 100% oxygen. Um, and so there's a couple simple rules that I uh, always try to follow when I'm thinking about this. Uh, the first one is, um, as soon as you feel the headache coming, so some uh, cluster heads will call this shadows. Um, mine are always on the right-hand side. I'm a righty. Um, but as soon as I feel them coming, I jump on the oxygen as quick as, as quickly as I can uh, because it's a, it's a big help the faster you get on it. Uh, letting the headache get started, right, uh, just makes it harder to break. Uh, the second one is uh, oxygen is good and CO2 is bad. And so the idea is you're really trying to get big, full breaths of 100% oxygen, nothing else. So you're going to want a tight seal. Um, and, and again, you're going to want to expel as much of the air as you can and then take big, full breaths. Uh, and then the last one <clears throat> uh, is, again, exhaling. As a maximum effort on the exhale is uh, what I try to do every time. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. But that's really been what, what turned the corner for me as far as time. Um, the better I exhale and, and really do that, it, it shortened my times down from 
I think initially I was, it took me closer to that 10 minute marker and with, with better breathing, I'm, I'm down to two or three minutes now. So, and then the last thing, uh, one little rule, um, especially when you're first learning is, uh, once you feel the headache start to stop, um, this is, you want to make sure to kill it all the way. So a good rule of thumb is about 10 minutes, uh, past the end of the headache. Um, I have shortened that over time and experience, um, but that's a good, a good rule of thumb to start is 10 minutes after the, the headache stops. Uh, stay on the oxygen, make sure that it's all the way taken care of so you don't get a rebound headache. All right, so I'm gonna set this to 20 liters a minute. Let's do some quick math. Um, tidal volume, you guys might hear this from time to time if you're a cluster head and you're looking about oxygen uh, therapy. So tidal volume, if I take a max breath in, and we were to measure how much volume I exhale, that's maximum, like a tidal volume, my max tidal volume. Um, for people, it's four to six liters typically, and your average breath is normally one liter, or I mean, sorry, a half a liter. Um, but for this exercise, we're going for max big, huge breaths. So this is a three liter bag, and I'm six five, and so if you're, I'm probably closer to the six liter lung, the bigger lung. Um, and so you'd think that there'd be a little bit of a problem with me uh, only using a three liter bag. However, you have to remember that as I'm breathing this air in from the bag, and you'll see it kind of shrink down as I'm breathing in, I don't just suck it instantaneously. I kind of breathe it in one big, slow breath. And during that five or six seconds, air continues to flow. Uh, at 20 liters a minute, uh, an additional two liters will flow in six seconds. So a three liter bag plus another two liters of air that flows during the breath gives me about a five liter intake. Um, just to give you guys some a rough understanding of each breath, I'm taking in about five liters and then I'm exhaling about the same. I'm trying to at least. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'm not gonna do a full, you know, 10, 15 minute uh, routine, but I will go for 30 seconds or so, um, maybe a minute, we'll see. I wanna get through um, several breath cycles so that you guys can see that. And I'll be focusing really on that exhale, that crunch at the end. Um, it's gonna look like this. And what I'm really doing here is focusing. You can tell I don't do a lot of crunches, uh, but the ones I do when I'm doing my oxygen, I really focus on. So, I really try to get that last little bit of air. It's almost like you're getting slugged in the stomach when you squeeze. Um, and that really brought my abort times, I found down uh, from closer to 10 minutes and, that, and I started to get down to the three minute range, four minute range. Um, when I improve my breathing. So here we go. 20 liters a minute. Okay, so I've turned it on to 20 liters a minute. You guys can hear the air flowing and see the bag. Um, same, same setting as before with the twist knob. I just twisted it to 20. Um, and you got a full bag here with three liters of air in it. Um, I'm not gonna hurry and jump on breathing until I focus on exhaling first because CO2 is bad. So the first thing I always will do is That is a thing that can happen. Uh, this bag, this is just a push on, so it'll come loose. And so my goal is to start breathing in um, at nearly a full bag so that it's not wasting oxygen and then suck it down so it's nearly depleted. Uh, and I time 
how many liters a minute I turn my um, regulator up to in order to meet that. And so at 20 liters, if I take a breath in, um, I'll run out and at the same time that my lungs are full. And that's an empty bag. If I turn it down to 15 liters, the problem is I can't, with the size of my breaths, um, if I start breathing in at a full bag, it empties um, when my lungs aren't full. And so uh, that's less effective. It's been, seems to be less effective for me. Um, and I'll, go, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So uh, here's 12 liters a minute, and I'll uh, let the bag get nice and full at 12 liters just to give you guys an understanding of the difference of how much the bag gets filled as you're breathing in. What will happen at 12 liters is I'm going to empty the bag and I'll still have room to breathe and room to take in more air, but there's not enough coming out. So. There you go. The bag's too empty. So that's why I've uh, moved up from 12 liters for me. Um, but this is something that you can uh, experiment with, with you know, what works best for you. So I'll go back to the 20 and show you guys a couple more and, and then we'll conclude it. Big exhale at the beginning. And you'll notice I start sucking right about now. All right, I'm gonna turn off my oxygen. So there you have it. That's how I use oxygen to abort my cluster headaches. I hope this is helpful for you and I've included several links below for information. If you have any other questions, especially around technique or how to get oxygen or if you're struggling with your cluster headaches, please feel free to use the comments below. I'd love to help uh, and I'll do anything I can. Um, good luck with your cluster headaches and I wish you all the best. Thanks.